Okay, so this full moon, uh, March 1st, 2018, is going to be in Leo. And I gave this the title, Queen of the Night. Because you see here, Leo, moon, Leo's a royal sign. So, based on the last new moon, you probably planted seeds. It was called the love child, that's what we labeled it last time. So, either you had a, a planted seeds of having a physical baby, or you planted seeds of the baby of all your ideas. So any, any idea you had that you considered your baby, maybe you decided to plant it. So now this is the time where most likely you'll be feeling like you're celebrating the ideas coming into fruition uh, as like a, like, a, like a royal king or queen saying something like, okay, I've arrived, I've decided to step into this. You know, I planted the seeds and I'm seeing it take root. So that's, the, that's what we're gonna be feeling the energy now. And, what I like to see too is, if you see all these planets, at some point in the night, the moon is rising. At some point in the night, all these planets will be below the horizon. So the moon will literally be the only visible planet in the sky. So she is the queen of the night. Um, so that's something good to look at. So now, the deal is, tropical astrology is going to put the full moon in Virgo. So it's going to talk about the harvest, you know, harvest the seeds or whatever. So I'd say wait for the harvest for next month because that's when the real little full moon will be in Virgo. So that's when you do the harvest. Right now, just, just step into your royalty. Okay, so what we have up here right now is an astronomy program. So this is a program that we use for astronomy. So as most of you know, my background is in astronomy and astrophotography. So this is a real picture of the night sky during the full moon. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a little sky tour and show you how to find the full moon and the constellation it's in on the night of the full moon. So first we're going to confirm the dates and the time. Second we're going to find the moon. It's going to be a full moon so it's going to be bright. Um, and the most noticeable stars of Leo is what's known as the backwards question mark. You see this is a backwards question mark. You can see that no matter how bright the full moon glow is going to be, these stars do stand out. So you're going to look for these stars and you're going to see, okay, full moon is in Leo. Okay, so one of the authors I have on my website is called the True Moon, Personalized True Moon Forecast. So how does this lunar phase affect you personally? So um, if we look over here, we can see for me, um, during this full moon, when we have a full moon, I like to look at both the solar energy and the lunar energy because the full moon is the moon reflecting sun, solar energy. So if we look here, solar is going to be, the, the sun will be conjunct Neptune and Aquarius hitting in my ninth house. All right. um, the moon, the lunar energy is going to be in Leo hitting me in my third house. So for me, this is going to be a very mental, educational kind of situation. But what is it going to be for you? So sign up on my website, truesidereastrology.com, and book yourself a true moon reading.